Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're going to be using, um, when we go and do the challenge here, this is using the Diverse Worlds mod. You can kind of see this in the back. Not exactly a mod. A Diverse World is the map set, which is supposed to be a little bit better than the um, than the standard world maps because it theoretically doesn't drop you in the middle of nowhere. But we'll see how well that, how much is that is true and how good these maps actually are. So let's go ahead and start the challenge. Let's do it. Let's go. We have five minutes here, not six. I've shortened that a little bit just to see what that'll do for us. Um, is this still kind of in the middle of nowhere? It's very pretty here. There's a sign up ahead. It says Twilight Zone. Maybe. It might say the Twilight Zone. I don't know. Can't even read it. No, that is not a sign. That is not a sign. That is a mirror. So people don't crash into each other. That is reasonable. There's a lot of mirrors like that around here, actually. I keep hitting my right mouse button. So if you see my mouse cursor go across the screen and not do anything, that's why. Okay, what do we got? This looks like it might actually be a sign of some sort. Dully. Dully, you say. And with that circle there... Limit General. Kind of makes me think like Spain? Maybe? I mean, I don't know where Dully is. I mean, it could be anywhere in here. It's probably like a really tiny place. I don't know, it gives the impression of being a tiny place just because it seems like it's up in the mountains. It doesn't necessarily mean it's tiny. This has this have like a European flair to them. Maybe. Big old crane here. They're building something gigantic. So it can't be that small of a community. Also, does it look like that crane's mounted like on that building? Also wasting time looking at this. But like Limit General would either be French or Spanish. So I think I'm on the right continent. Okay, so and we can move further in here, but hoping to find something great that is not great i mean that's construction equipment is what that is send back out again okay there's just general construction all over the place center communal yes okay so oh no moving paksa no that it cannot be with something like moving pak would that be french there's no way right was that the Movenpok Caves? Huh. But then, like, center there with no accent over the E. And starting with Le. So it's got to be French, not Spanish. Okay, so there's a place called Dully in France. I mean, I don't know, maybe. In the mountains somewhere, which I don't even know where mountainous is in France. It could be, like, over here. Um, okay, so we're looking for, like, some place in the mountains called Dully. Epignol. I mean, mostly you can stick to the roads and be good, but we need, um, what do we need? We need something else is what we need. What we need is, like, a highway marker of saying, you know, this is going to be in Highway 36 or whatever. This just telling me there's going to be a construction all along this road, which, you know, no shit. 30 zone. 30 kilometers an hour is pretty slow. It's like... Um, actually, that might only be like 25 miles per hour. Yeah, no kidding. We're in Dully. Yep, that's what they tell me. Doesn't tell me where Dully is, but we're in Dully. I mean, there's got to be, like, just a town around here just called Dully. But if it's a town, like in a small town, where would that be? I need like an, give me an A number so I know what highway we're pretending to be on. This right here though, this is not a highway. Did we actually jump off the highway? Go back to the original start point here. I don't know if this is starting off as a highway, but I know we did turn around. So now we're headed out of nowhere. There's a bus. Sometimes bus stations have 
indication of where exactly they are. You are currently here, you need to go here, that type of thing. Um, if so, it's been scribbled upon. That is rude. You should not do that. There might be somebody who's lost. And it says we're in Dully. Well, what do you know? It turns out we're in Dully, people. Don't know if you knew that. The sarcasm is getting stronger. It is happening. Where the actual... Okay, hold on. Back up. We have like 12 seconds. I'm going to try to go forward here. Look at the sign, but the sign is unreadable. It's a uh, Gilly Dully. It'd be hilarious if this was like Ireland, right? We'll find out in like one second here. I was close-ish. I'm actually happy with that score. 4,600 is more than I actually deserved. Was there actually a dully here? There was a gilly. Uh, yeah, there's a dully. There's a dully right there. So I parked it in the right place with the mountainous terrain, just not quite mountainous enough. Okay, you know what? I'll totally take that. Thank you. That was very helpful. Next round. Okay, out in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful, though. Okay, so where the hell are we? Can't even tell what side of the street we're driving on. We could be going backwards here, which means we're on the left side. Or no, we're on the right side of the road. Yeah, these cars are disappearing pretty fast, so I'm pretty sure the car we're on is actually going that way. Yeah, and look at that. There's actually a windshield wiper, or a wind, uh, windshield wiper. <laughs> Rear view mirror, that's what I meant to say. I mean, it's beautiful here. I'm going to say, I mean, with those rock formations, am I crazy here? Or does this seem like Ireland? I mean, there's a bunch of roads all over Ireland. It could be any one of them. But that's kind of my guess right now. The cars don't really give me any sort of indication. Could be European cars. Could be something else entirely. There's no way to tell. So now if I'm driving it, though, in Ireland, they drive on the right side of the road? I thought they drove on the left. Wait a minute, there was a shunt-off point there? Where? Where? I don't believe you. Where? No, I think it was just... No. Okay, no, I'm, I'm making stuff up. But it looked like there was a third arrow, and I might have just misread something. Also, there are no signs, like, whatsoever, and I'm barely clicking here, trying to... Yeah, I'm barely moving forward at all. Okay, what the actual heck's going on here? If I can only proceed, like, click by click, this is actually horrible. Let's go back. That's where we went. Let's try going this way. That's where we were going originally when we were passing those cars. Let's just keep passing them. We only have three minutes left. I really want to find out where the hell we are. The rock formation thing is totally bullshit. I've never been to Ireland. But pictures I've seen of Ireland have those type of rock formations. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. This could be Iceland for all I know. Um, it's very difficult to tell where exactly we are. So we're kind of sort of headed west-ish. But it's not directly west. The thing is we don't know what time of year. Because, like, that's the sun, right? But it's not directly in the east or the west. So, does that indicate that we're at a higher altitude? Or a higher longitude, rather? Higher altitude would be totally different. Maybe. But where? I don't know. Okay, so there's a bunch of... I was going to call them pinwheels. I guess that's kind of true. They are kind of like pinwheels. Windmills would be more accurate, though. Though not the type of windmills you, of course, get in Holland. Okay, there's some kind of big structure up here that maybe will have a sign as like a turnoff or something. That'll at least give us a language. What do we got? Horses from 0 to 200 meters. Okay. Oh, you know what? He could have just... No, we're still driving the right side. Yeah. So in Ireland, do they drive on the right-hand side? I don't think they do, right? So then we might actually be looking at, like, we might be looking at Iceland, maybe? It's not, I'm, I don't think it's in the UK. I'm going to put it in Iceland for now until we figure out where we are. It really seems like deep northern hemisphere, though. This could be, like, 
Norway, could be Finland, could go Southern Hemisphere, I don't know. There's no indication because there's no, um, there's no freaking signs. Oh, wait, here we go. Gestur Hansen. I mean, for all I know, that's a guy's name. But if it is his name, let's assume it's his name. He's really proud of his name. So he's decided to put on his track, his truck, rather, not his track. Gestur Hansen. I mean, you can say that in a bunch of different accents. Does it actually help you determine the language? Or maybe, sometimes. Not always. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I mean, Iceland really seems like my best bet. I mean, could it could be Greenland. But, like I said, it could be Norway. We're coming up on a body of water. We only have 18 seconds, though. I don't think I have enough information to know what the hell this is. There's a town. We're coming up on the town, and it's it's we're going to hit, like, a sign for the town. And it's going to be too late. And it's because I didn't commit in time to which direction I was going in. So now we're doomed. It wasn't Greenland. Well, or no, it wasn't Iceland. Yeah, it wasn't Iceland. I just, it was in the Faroe Islands. Wow, I didn't even know those existed, to be honest. Okay, are those technically part of the UK? How does that work? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I never heard of the Faroe Islands. You know what? I learned something today. That's cool. I like learning things, so I'm going to give you a four. I'm going to mark a point off. There's no freaking signs. Okay, what do we got? Round three. Well, I like the fence. It's very rustic. The road, however, is basically bullshit. I would never drive on this road. Well, I try not to drive on these roads. I just don't like the feel of like dirt underneath me when I drive. It just it feels wrong somehow. I have no idea where this is. Um he does not have anything readable on his shirt. He's also too sexy for a shirt. I don't know why I said that. It just seemed like the right thing to say after shirt. Where the hell? I mean, this could be anywhere. Okay, probably not the United States of America. Unless there's something about Georgia, I don't know. I don't know why I picked on Georgia there. Vendice Esta Casa. Um, something, something house, but that's in either Spanish or Portuguese. I'm going to say somewhere in South America. Just because maybe... I don't know, it doesn't seem European here, and we reached the end of the road. Okay. So, somewhere in... Okay, we already came from you, so we want to go this way. There's a side road here that might actually be sort of kind of paved. No, it's not paved. That's, what, that's a totally misleading appearance there. And we could just be flat. And that could be the name of the city, for all I know. Vendesse. Okay, well, that matches the other sound we saw, right? Vendesse? This is Vendesse Esta Casa, though. Hmm. And be a weird way to specify where you live? That is some fresh brick right there. They're probably replacing these fences with the brick. I don't know. I mean... Oh, no, they're building a house, is what it looks like. And then also probably replacing the fence with the brick. So probably both. Well, you know what? It'll last longer. So, yeah. Okay. I was going to say I don't know because it, it lacks character, but I totally get wanting to do that kind of upgrade. I mean, the Adobe, actually, I like a lot more. They're doing some construction here. They're building up the city. Good for you guys. Movalaria. Don't know what that means. Um, there's a 422 number there. Ciara, I don't know what that means either. Step me forward, see if we get a... Okay, we do get a break here that goes like in several different directions. Which way do we want to go? Does that say San Francisco? Sao Francisco. Shoot. I used to know where that was. Um, I think we might be in S South America, but I don't know where. 
Sao Francisco. Assuming that's actually where this is and not like a total, like, it could be like a shop. You know, like there's a shop named, I don't know if there's actually a shop named this, but I'm assuming there's a shop named like Paris. Doesn't mean you're in Paris. Just means that, you know, they sell things that are of the Parisian persuasion. That's a weird way to phrase that, but that's, you know what I mean. Santa Catarina, Porto Alegre, Santa Maria, Pelotas, Montevideo. I don't know exactly where this would be, so I'm just looking all over the place. Buenos Aires. I don't know. I mean, I can put my marker, like, here. But I don't think I know exactly where I am yet. We still have a minute. Try to push our way through. And see maybe if we see your now leaving signs. But I think we've just circled instead due to a horrible misclick on my part a misclick that will never be forgiven or really understood yeah there's nothing here man there's no if we are actually in San Francisco oh man step me through here there looked like there was a sign that is not a sign that is a gate totally different from a sign and I think we're gonna loop around again I actually have no idea where we're going now. Okay, then now we're back to this guy. It's too sexy for a shirt. Okay, so, I mean, we're going to go back over here. I was trying to see maybe if this sign told us anything else. But I think that's actually just a false hope. Bendice esta casa. Oh, like, this city is my home. Like, San Jose is my home. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think that's in Portuguese, and I was right, and I should have left my marker where it was, because I was just, that was just horrible. So is there actually a, oh, wait a minute. Okay, State of Ciara. I'm not sure if we actually saw that anywhere. Yeah, Google Maps is not going to help me with that. Um, this place is called Arua. Ar Arurar? Aru I can't even pronounce that. We did not go to the right place. If we had gone to the right place, we would have seen the post office and gone, oh, this place is called Corsus de Aru. And I would have no idea where that was, so actually that wouldn't help me at all. We saw the highway, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a weird spot to drop me. I mean, it's diverse for sure, but I'm not sure about this diverse world thing. I'm going to give that like a two because there were no hints. Okay, a three. I'll give it a three. Okay, we are in a flat place. If this place was any flatter, you could riddle a pancake. There's also um, a donkey, two donkeys on the road. And looks like he's carrying some sticks. Really, those donkeys are for those two people. The sticks are kind of immaterial. Pretty sure if you split the sticks between the two of them, they could totally just carry them. But they probably got to take them quite a distance, which is probably why they have the donkeys in the first place. Also, am I crazy, or does the shadow kind of look like there's a guy sitting up on the hood who's just looking behind him all the time? It's like maybe a dog of some type? I don't know. It kind of looks that way. There's a dog and a carrier that's open. Okay, where are we going to go? Well, I think... I mean, the shape of the car says we're going this way. So let's do that. We're on the left side of the road. Don't know if that means anything. There was a sign, like, right there. That says stop. But that could just mean we're near America, not necessarily in America. Like, in the Americas. I mean, by that, I mean North America. What does that say? G and Sons Investments. Mott G and Sons Investments. I mean, we could be in America, I guess. It's very flat here, so I'm not sure exactly where this would be in the United States of America. But it could be. I don't know. Where would you have a donkey? I mean, in the last, you know, 1,500 years, we've kind of moved past that sort of thing. Not 1,500 years. That's crazy talk. King Can Supermarket. Okay. 1,500 years is definitely just crazy talk. Um, maybe the last, like, 50 years, 100 years. 100 years I'll totally buy. I, mean, I guess we, we're always on a gradual method of progress, right? So you could say it was due to 
the progress that happened 1,500 years ago. You wouldn't be wrong. Sakoma and Sabong. Those do not look like United States. Um, that looks like maybe South Africa. Is that the A's? No, those are not A's. Those are R's. Okay, so it's not South Africa, which is good because that actually would throw me for a loop here. They're speaking English, though. But the names like Sakoma and Sabong. I wonder if what we're looking at is like, I don't know, China? I have no idea. A name like Sabong, I would almost think with the TS, it sounds like Korean or Thai, but I've never seen South Korea in GeoGuessr before, so I have no idea. We'll keep going. And we got to find a highway marker, I would expect. I think this is a highway. It looks like a highway. Being on the right, or rather the left side of the road, that does say stop. It says stop on each one of these. So they speak enough English to at least know what stop is in English. Not to mention the names of the signs were all. Like, and sons is a very American way of doing things. Am I thinking this the right way here? There's cows in the road. But with the A denotations for the highways, it just seems weird. I mean, I don't know where we are. It's very flat. Where would it be this flat? We have A's in the name of the highways. I have these kind of brush, this kind of brush, very flat brush. Could it be somewhere in Africa? It's not South Africa, but there's, Africa's a huge continent. I actually don't know. Could be Nigeria for all I know, or Chad, or somewhere, I don't know. Alright, just keep going. I mean, that would make sense for the English fitting in, right? Because there was a lot of colonial stuff happening in... Africa that I kind of skipped over in grade school and never really revisited. The trouble is, are we going to find any other signs in the next 28 seconds? And I don't think so. I mean, I could be pleasantly surprised here. It could be saying, you know, you're right here. But I don't think so. Yeah, we saw a mile marker there, but I'm not sure how that's going to help us. So left side of the road, they speak English. They drive donkeys around. I mean, not exclusively, but that's really the only other vehicle we've seen. So, I'm sorry, but... It was Botswana. So, I was right it was Africa. I earned five whole points, though, because I put it in South Korea, because I wasn't sure where the hell I was. I should have done something when I was clicked into Nigeria that would have at least gotten me some points, but five points is terrible. Um, that was pretty bad. I'm going to hit next round now. Last round. Five minutes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's find out where we are on this curvy, curvy road of curviness. That's what they call it in these parts. And I can't click forward. There we go. There we go. We got it. All right. We are in a mountain road. There are mountains. There are signs facing the other way. So what we're looking for here is probably something in Europe. Maybe. Could be European. There are mountains in England, right? Could be Ireland for all I know. So we'll say there right now because I don't know where it would actually be. Okay, so now that we know that there are English signs, or at least kilometer signs, not necessarily English. We haven't actually seen any English yet. Wait, this could be something. Nope, that's a symbol. Symbols don't mean anything. Well, I mean, symbols mean things. That's kind of the whole point of symbols. We're on the 152. And then what? 152 what? Um, 3.6 kilometers. But wait, 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 wait. Go pull me back, pull me back. Is that actually... Okay, okay, now be hilarious if now we're in Korea, right? I can't tell what those are. I think those are Korean characters. Okay, well, 
If so, it's probably South Korea, I'd have to guess. Hold on, I've gone and lost everything in the world. Um, that would be parts of Russia. What am I doing? Korea's down here. I can I can think for myself, really, I can. Um, I mean, maybe those aren't Korean characters. No, those might be... I mean, it could be Japanese. Those don't look like any Japanese characters I've seen before. But what do I know? So, okay, we'll say Japan, but... It might be Chinese? I don't know that I can't read the difference, so I mean that's bad on that's bad on me. But maybe we'll find another I mean what are the chances that China would let Google go through and map parts of their world, you know? It would seem like Japan certainly, Korea definitely, or South Korea anyway. Obviously North Korea is not letting anybody in. But would China? I've never seen China in a GeoGuessr, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And we're seeing a lot more characters. We see more characters, I might be able to narrow this down. I mean, KM is just used for kilometers everywhere, so that doesn't help me. And I thought we were driving on the left side of the road, but maybe we're not. Can't. Well, no, we must be because that's right, the signs are all on the left. Now that could just be because the turn coming up wouldn't be helpful to have that sign on the right. So once we get out of the mountains, assuming we ever do get out of the mountains, this might actually go forever. And around and around and around we go. This is quite the twist and turn. Okay. What do you think? If it's like Subaru, isn't that a Korean model i don't know i have no idea i'm making stuff up yeah yeah i might i mean it could be korea or japan i'm kind of hedging my bets here that's not going to fare well because we only have a minute left i don't know it doesn't look like korean characters to me though but i don't know maybe it totally is okay show me another sign i need more i need more text to go off of i know this is an asian country but I could be way off. This could be Thailand for all I know. I mean, it doesn't look like Thai. I've at least been to Thailand, so I kind of know what Thailand script looks like. But, okay, yes, it's very pretty here. I mean, this could be a part of Japan that, you know, just not built up. Like, basically anywhere but Tokyo. There are some beautiful mountains in Japan, from what I understand. So this could be that. It could be someone is on... One of the best field trips ever in Japan. And that's what this road is leading you to, is one of the most fabulous resorts ever. But it's not telling me any of that, so I don't know. Okay, more characters. Um, yeah, it was Japan. It was, in fact, Japan. I'm not sure how I would have known that it was in Mount frickin' Fuji. Since there were no signs, but I guess that being the biggest mountain in Japan, I should have figured if it was mountainous, it would be at least around Mount Fuji, so that would have been good to know, I suppose. Mount frickin' Fuji. Okay, so I did not do too well there. I'm going to give that three stars, because I think if I had known that it was Japanese characters, um, then I would have done a little better there. Mistaking Korea for Japan, no one on either side appreciates that. But anyway, let's look at the summary. I don't think I did very well. Yeah, 11,000 is not great. Especially that jump there that I totally didn't place my marker on the right continent is really embarrassing. And that one there where I just messed up. Um, yeah, just messed up between Argentina and Brazil didn't help me either. All right, well, that's another round of GeoGasters, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.